My name is Alan Hart and today I'm going to show you how to test a Femister. If you need to test a Femister in a combi boiler, if you've got problems with, with the boiler not working or not working correctly, I'm going to show you how to test the Femister. I've got a few different boilers here. We've got a Baxi 800, I've got an old Baxi Duotech and we've also got a Wiesman. So we can have a look at some different, different Femisters in the boilers. We can test them cold. And also we'll be able to, on this boiler here, because this one's working, we'll be able to test it hot as well, just to show you the different different readings in the boiler. So let's have a look now. Before we remove the case, we'd make sure that we tested it, done as electrical checks, make sure the boiler's turned off. So this boiler's not connected, so I know that it's, um, I know it's not connected. Um, so I'm just going to undo these two screws here. When we look in the boiler here, this is the Femister here. Baxi call this a domestic hot water NTC sensor. And that is, that's what a Femister is. And what we need to do, we need to test this. So we need to test, there's two prongs in there and we need to test this. On this video, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna undo this out. This is, on this particular one, it's a 13 mil connection so what we'd do is we just unclip that off that's got a little clip on there so normally we'd just clip that down and then we'd get a 13 mil spanner so we get the 13 mil spanner and then we'd obviously we'd just undo this out of here now just to bear in mind with this particular boiler this is a wet pocket so if you disconnect that out of there then you're going to get mains water pressure squirting out of there so you need to make sure that you turned your water off and opened your hot tap and made sure no water were flowing through before you did it. Just another way, just before we do undo that there, you can also, you could do it on the board if you wanted to. So you could remove this cover here. And then if you have a look in the manufacturing instructions, you can see where these green wires go to. And then you could test it on board. And on this particular one, I think it's X400, but I'll just we'll just have a just check of that. So I've been on the Baxi training course, and I've got the engineer service manual for this boiler. And in the engineer's service manual, you can see there the electrical information, and you've got your domestic hot water. NTC sensor, so that's your temperature sensor, your Femister, and if you follow them wires down, they go to the plug X400 there, and if we have a look, it's terminals 1 and terminals 3. So we could, if we wanted to, we could test it in there, and we could put a multimeter into there and test it. But I'm going to remove, I'm going to take this Femister out on this, um, so we'll have a look at it. But first of all, what I'll do is I'll show you the, um, I'll show you the multimeter and I'll show you how we test it. A little bit hard to see, but I'll just show you this now. I said it was terminal, I said it was number, um, number one and I said it was number three. It's actually number one and it's number four. So if you're going to check it at the board, you would check it at number one and number four. I'll just get the multimeter now and I'll show you the multimeter. So this is the combi boiler, combi boiler for mister, or boiler for mister, or combi boiler, combi boiler sensor, or Baxi temperature sensor, or Baxi for mister. And this is what we're going to test there. If you can have a look on there, it's a little bit hard to get in and get onto them wires. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut the lead off the boiler just to make it easier for us for this test now. Um, but first of all, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you the multimeter. So if we look on the multimeter, I've got a Fluke 114 multimeter. And what we want to do, if we change it to ohms 
on there. So ohms. And then what we'll do is if we have a look on, you can see on there, but that shows you M, M ohms. And when we look at what M, M ohms means, so that's a mega ohm. And a mega ohm is one million ohms. I've got a little tester block here, so I can show you the different the different readings on there. So that one's M ohms, and then if we go to the next one, this one now, if you see there, is K ohms. And if we have a look in the book, what K ohms is there, so it's K ohms. So that's 1000 ohms. And then if we have a look again, if we go on to this one, and we have a look on there, that one that's just ohms. So you just need to be careful when you're doing your readings that you, you're seeing the right reading. So let's have a look at the thermistor now. So we've got this thermistor now, and I've just cut the lead off out of the boiler, and I've just bared the wires back. Obviously you wouldn't normally do that, um, but if we connect this, if we put it right way around, and connect that onto there, and then what we can do now, so this thermistor now is going to give us a reading, or it should do if it's if it's working okay, that should give us a reading at whatever the room temperature is now. So what we'll do, we'll test that now with multimeter. So again, put this back to ohms. So that's one thousand ohms. Bit awkward to see. I'll just zoom in with that. When we look on this thermistor, you could, if you can get multimeter in, you could test it on them two pins there as well, or you could take the wire off, as I already said, and you could test it on the pins in there, or you could test it at the circuit board, depending on the makeup boiler. So when we test this now, we test this with multimeter, so if we test one side, and then test the other side. So what we've got there, we've got 10.83 K ohms. So if we remember what K means, so K ohms, there. And then if we have a look in the book, or you could, if you don't have the book, so, so that would be 10,000 ohms. So it's roughly about 25 degrees. So let's just have a look at that again. So it's roughly about 25 degrees. Maybe a bit less. So maybe about, probably about 23 degrees actually. So this is the engineer's book. If you don't have this book with these different readings in, these different resistance read, readings, then you could phone the manufacturers and the manufacturers will, will give you, I'll tell you what the, what the different readings should be. When we look at this chart, we can see as the temperature goes up, the resistance goes down. If you see, so if it were 30 degrees, resistance would be about 8,000 ohms. If it was 100 degrees, 
it would be about 700 ohms and one thing to point out with this if it's not working well or if it's not working then then you may get you may get OL and that if you do get OL then you know that the thermistor's not working I've put the hot water thermistor or temperature sensor back in the boiler and on this boiler it's also got a thermistor on the central heating side here so you could test that one as well so I've had this boiler running this Wiesmann this is a Wiesmann combi boiler and this this is hot now so what we'll do I'll just show you the difference and we'll test this this for mister here I've turned the power off to the boiler and I've done my electrical checks so we'll get his multimeter now and I'll show you the readings on this so again we turn the multimeter to ohms and then if we just put that in there and if we test this in fact just pull that wire off just so we can get into it if we test that I'm getting three six k ohms I'll just zoom in and I'll just show you so I've just zoomed in now I'll just do that again so we're getting 3.6 k ohms so that's 3600 ohms or 3.6 k ohms So if we have a look in his book, we'll have a look in the Baxi book, that, that'll give us an indication if it was in a Baxi. Um, obviously this is in a Wiesmann, so in a Wiesmann you would check with the manufacturers. So if we have a look in the Baxi book, 3.6 or 3.585 is around 50 degrees temperature. So we can see that the higher the, higher the temperature, the lower the resistance on there so that's that's a, just a short video on testing for misters what I would advise if you're not sure um, go on or, or even if you are sure really go on a training course with a boiler manufacturer um, Baxi do Baxi do a very good training course um, if you found this video useful Please, 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 please give it a like and um, click on subscribe button if you can. If you click up here, subscribe button should be up here somewhere. And up here and down here, I'll also add some other videos as well. Thanks very much for watching.